What is going on SoFi fans? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today I want to give you a quick overview of the data points, go over some latest updates and where I see things going from here. Before I get into any of that, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with that, let's get right to it. Friday, it closed 2.33% down ever since Wednesday and CPI and the whole debt ceiling scenario, which is still underway right now. It's just causing a lot of unnecessary fear in the broader market. And keep in mind, this is just not a SoFi specific problem. This is a broader market problem. But because of their earnings, as you can see, this massive candle, a lot of investors do feel that SoFi itself has been taking on too much risk. I kind of disagree. I've actually done videos to say otherwise because they've been doing and putting a lot of safety measures in place to mitigate risk. So yes, they're trying to expand their business on a very bearish time period and the environment isn't necessarily the best, but if things turn around, SoFi is going to come off as a genius versus a lot of banks that have been contracting. So again, that's just my own interpretation of that. Keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor. You guys do your own due diligence at the end of the day. As far as news, there's only one thing that did come out on the 10th, and it's just more so how SoFi can expedite student loan offers. And of course, right here, it kind of uses AI, and generally, it seems pretty good. My only thing that that I don't understand is it says by doing this, it kind of automatically validates the applicant's income. And I don't know how they do that. So I don't know if they, for instance, have to sign up for this in advance and upload pay statements that way, which I know might seem new and innovative through the whole AI. But I think this one aspect right here might not necessarily be the best. My own opinion, of course, uh, this might also have combined with the broader market at that time period to cause it to go down because this one in reality is a little bit more of a negative outside of that news there's been no other pr released sec filings the only thing that did come out was their quarterly earnings as you can see and so it was submitted to the sec on may the 10th and so of course i've already gone through this and everything so generally i think that it's a fairly good earnings no different than anything else just a lot of people are very skeptical right now but keep in mind with SoFi going down as much as it has been over the last little bit and with their recent submission of their earnings based on for instance the price to book it is below one and that does signal that it is truly below its intrinsic value so it is a pure definition discount play right now so that might be something for you to realize or just kind of keep in mind and when it comes down to institutions increasing their position it is that time of season so as you can see BlackRock did increase their position 0.48%. So they now have 35.8 million shares of SoFi. And to make things better, they also closed out their puts. Generally, in case you guys don't know options or puts or whatever it is, if someone closes out a put, that is very optimistic. That does show and signal that they see upside coming. But keep in mind, all of this latest round of 13 Fs is as of March 31st, 2023. So within Q1. So again, it is what it is. Outside of that, you do see a lot of new green, so brand new positions. But outside of that, though, a lot of good things uh, are coming, in my own opinion, of course. And keeping in line with what big money has been doing, I'll give you guys a quick overview, for instance, of what has been happening on the secondary market so a couple big transactions from friday and normally friday is a little bit lower volume but 2.93 million 1.56 million the day before 3.44 million so sofi is still on big money's I guess radar as of right now because they are still tentatively buying because majority of these are still buys outside of that just to give you a good overview of options from friday at least there was 4.72 million dollars worth of calls that was purchased 3.04 million dollars worth of puts so still kind of evenly divided but still like i mentioned as far as what happened with blackrock there still is upside anticipated most likely it is a lot of value investors seeing these multiples as a result of for instance their earnings and kind of playing on that so once again as i've said many times in the past so is trying to innovate and be an innovative force in one of the oldest sectors ever so it's not an easy task and it's not going to come overnight so again you just have to practice patience realize SoFi is going to do a lot of good things you just have to like I said practice patience let me know your guys' thoughts keep in mind like I already said I'm not a financial advisor so 
just do your own due diligence. That's the best way to do it. So I'll give you guys a quick overview of shorts through Ortex. And so short score is currently 74. Utilization is 95. And the reason why I'm bringing this up, not necessarily because of it being a short squeeze, but the fact that it's a good benchmark and they've also been increasing their position pretty significantly over the last little bit. 13.91% of the free floats being shorted. And keep in mind, it did hit a low around 9%. And that was roughly around a month ago. So they've really been getting in over the last little bit. And as of right now, 111 million shares overall being shorted. And based on Friday, shorts increased 758.94 thousand shares. Cost of borrow is going up a little bit. So 2.17% is the average. But with 2.17, that's an annual rate. You're basically paying like a penny almost every single day. So cost of borrow is not really important by any means. As far as latest round of instant institutions giving ratings as you can see right here there was one that did come in yesterday by Triest, uh if i'm saying that right financial andrew jeffrey who does have a 64 percent success rating so fairly good for an analyst in my opinion and they did give a eight dollar price target but outside of that piper sandler and also bank of america both gave eight dollar targets as well and Piper Sandler has a 58 success rating. Um, and then as far as Bank of America, it's kind of 49%. So not necessarily the best there. So let me know you guys' thoughts on analysts. I would have assumed that a lot more analysts would be giving higher ratings. But again, I could be wrong. The consensus right now is $7.65, which represents a 53% upside from these prices. So once again, kind of signaling that it is at a substantial discount. But outside of that, though, talking on technicals, it is lower percentile of the boiling band. As of right now, stochastic is at 38, so kind of neutral, so not necessarily oversold or overbought. Number of retail investors have been getting out ever since just right before their earnings, surprisingly. So I don't know if they knew something bad was coming, maybe, but number of retail investors have been getting out. So maybe I missed the memo on that. And as far as some of the fib levels that you need to watch for, so... With it being at 502, it surprisingly is below this S3. So once again, for now the third signal, third time in a row with the analyst ratings with this, it is considered at a substantial discount because anything trading right now between this S3 and the S2, in other words, is considered junk which sucks, and I'm not saying so far as junk, but this kind of signals that it's been suppressed too much. And just to move away from, for instance, the one day and looking more at the four hour, this is where you can kind of see a little bit more of a clearer picture. So with it being at 502, $4.68 is the next big support. Well, I wouldn't say big, but it's the next support level. And 543 is something that you need to watch for. So most likely it'll trade within this range until either there's a good piece of news to take it above that and hopefully can get back into the sixes or vice versa. If it trends down, then it'll unfortunately stay low fours. When it comes down to it, though, they also have that upcoming shareholder meeting that they're going to be voting on the whole reverse split because with it being below $5, this is where it's not necessarily advantageous to be in, unfortunately. But once again, let me know you guys' thoughts on all of this in the comments below. Have you been buying, selling, holding? What is your take on SoFi right now? Because of the tentative dip, I did buy in at $5.60, I believe, somewhere around here. So not necessarily the best, but I'm still happy because generally speaking, I have a long-term mentality. I know SoFi is going to do a lot of big things coming. And over and above all of that, though, I absolutely love the CEO. Anthony Noto is one of those individuals that loves to put his own true money in SoFi. That is a very, very hard thing to ever see on any stock. So once again, let me know you guys' thoughts on all that in the comments below. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, appreciate you guys watching. Let's all make a lot of money on SoFi.